Virtualization on TrueNAS has been a little bit of a sore subject recently. What I want to offer is an opportunity to get the Windows operating system running with minimal effort through Docker. We found a really cool container that hosts Tiny11, which is a de-bloated version of Windows 11 within a Docker container. And I'm going to show you how to get that set up right now. The first thing I want to do is jump over to my data sets. I'm going to put it under my configs directory, just like it's any other container. So I'm going to add a data set here. I'm going to call this Windows and I'm going to leave it generic. And I'm going to edit my permissions and just give other read, write, and execute. And now I have a place for my quote unquote C drive to live on my TrueNAS machine. Jumping over to the wiki, let's go to productivity apps and let's go to Windows 11. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Docker Compose file. I'm gonna jump back to TrueNAS, go to my apps and launch Dockage. Let's start a new Docker Compose stack for Windows. I'm gonna paste the file I copied from the wiki. In this Docker Compose, we see we're launching Windows 11. I'm gonna give it four gigs of RAM, four cores, and I'm gonna give it a 64 gig hard drive. In this case, the username is admin and the password is admin. You guys can set your own stuff. These are the ports that it's gonna be accessible on. 8,000 2006 is going to give us a no VNC web browser. 3389 is for RDP. So if you have a local RDP client, you can go ahead and remote desktop directly into this Windows machine and avoid your browser completely. For my volumes here, this is where the C drive is going to live. Mount tank configs Windows, but you can change this to anything you want. Everything else I'm going to leave the same and I'm going to go ahead and deploy this container. At this point in the install process, Windows has been downloaded and extracted. So we can go ahead and click the 8006 right here and jump into this QEMU Windows screen and see that it's actually doing the setup right now. It's going to go ahead and install Windows by itself without any intervention at all. So I'm just going to close the screen and come back in like honestly 10 or 15 minutes because that's how long this is probably going to take. After Windows goes through its standard install process, we can go ahead and click port 8006. And now we are in the Windows desktop. Because we're going through a no VNC session, this is a little bit laggy, but it is in fact Windows. We can make this a little bit better by going in through RDP. This is the RDP client for my computer. So I just typed in the address of my TrueNAS server and it's asking me for username and password. And I set that in the Docker Compose file. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Okay, so now I'm RDP'd into this Windows Docker container and things are much, much faster. Let's go ahead and do something interesting. What if I wanted to be able to move files between this Windows PC within the file manager to my TrueNAS data sets that I have set up? Let's go ahead and pass a data set into this Windows Docker container and start moving files back and forth from the host to Windows. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this file and right here is where I'm gonna make the change. I wanna use the path of my TrueNAS data set and pass it into the quote unquote shared directory here. Now that my Windows machine has started it back up. I can go ahead and go into the file browser, click network, then click host.lan and then click my data folder. And this is what's actually in the SMB share that's located on the apps pool. I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. I think it's extremely powerful to be able to dockerize the entire Windows operating system, especially with the differences in virtual machines that have been going on recently. It's very hard to be able to get stable VMs these days. I want to give you guys the options of showing you how to dockerize something small like this so that you can make it very mobile and very powerful, being able to stand them up and break them down at will. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you have some questions about that, please hit us up on our Discord for servers at home. If you wanna thank me personally for this, please buy me a coffee.